Hello, it's uh, David from Sail Tahiti. I'm in Shelter Bay Marina in front of Lulu. Uh, Lulu is a Nautitech Open 40. It's the new version, the V2. She was uh, launched in uh, November 2023. So she's a very unique boat. First, the only performance catamaran in the 40 feet category is the Nautitech 40. Uh, second, she's the, the new version and she's the only one available in the market. But that's not all, because she's coming to Tahiti, so she will be the only Nautitech 40 of the new generation available directly in Tahiti. She's gonna be there in April. Um, her owner, Jean-Pierre, spared no expense to make her really a perfect blue water performance catamaran. He's sending her from France to Tahiti with a professional skipper, just the two of them. His project was to sail with his family, but unfortunately, they can't do it. Uh, that's why they're putting the boat on the market. So she's going to be available in April in Tahiti. There's a financing available, and again, it's a really unique boat. The only Nautitech 40 V2 available on the market and fully kitted for blue water cruising. So one of the first thing you notice on the V2 is the uh, improved uh, helm station. Uh, you feel much more protected here. Uh, the helm by itself is really nice with a really good grip. Um, you've got the BNG navigation system with nine inches screen, so much better than uh, the seven inches. It's really practical when you're setting. Got a very easy access to the coach roof with these uh, teak stairs. And here the boom is low, which is a trademark of Nautitech to have a very powerful rig. You see that the mainsail traveler is on top, so it frees up the space below. And behind it, you've got the big solar panels. All the rigging, the running rigging is, is Dynama ropes and the sails are hydranets. So it's an upgrade from the normal uh, standard sails. The Nautitech 40 has a self-tacking jib, so it's very easy to maneuver single-handed. Uh, and she's got a very long bowsprit where you can put a cut zero on an endless furler. Again, all Dynema ropes. You can see the very uh, beautiful uh, lashing here. The is just at the foot of the mast. It's not on the front beam, so you keep the weight centered. And then you've got very large uh, locals here. For the water tanks and all your jerry cans and ropes. Ah, yes, there's a spare anchor here in the red bag, and you can see there's plenty of spare lines and two very large water tanks. Again, just next to the mast, so the weight are centered. And believe it or not. Inside here is the Starling uh, Maritime Antina. Uh, you can't even see it, you can just guess it's here. So the boat is equipped with Starling, but it's very, uh, very neat, very discreet, contrary to many setups we see. see. It's behind here, so it's well protected. There's an extra winch on port side, which you can use to lift the dinghy or for the mainsail, halia, mainsail sheet. So meaning you can trim the mainsail from both helm station, port and starboard. There's a high field, high pollen dinghy. Uh, you can see the new uh, Davids, much more ergonomic, much better design than the, the first version of the Open 40. Very practical um, setup from uh, Nautitech. Inside the cockpit, um, you've got a dedicated storage space for your life raft. 
again you've got a indirect lighting in the cockpit very nice so the protection here are actually twofold uh, you've got the transparent one here which is against the rain obviously and instead you can put this one which is against the sun so you have the two uh, two functions and you can see it remains this uh, openness that we had on the v1 uh, but the design is uh, is much better in the cockpit you can open entirely uh, the window the bay between uh, the cockpit and the salon to create a really big space and then with the cortisi lighting you have a very very nice uh, feeling one of the difference with uh, the first version of the Notitech is there used to be a step here uh, and now there's no more steps so it's all flush much more practical uh, you can see here as well a better finish and the stand for your electronics is better finished and better protected. Uh, you used to have a problem when you open the window and it was raining, it would pour on the, on the instrument. It's not the case anymore. There's a 65 liters per hour water maker, uh, the Iridium Go, uh, but with Starlink, you just use it uh, for emergency in case uh, your Starlink wouldn't be working anymore. Um, they've uh, made better 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 and better quality than in the v1 you can see it's really nice here uh, that's all the beach pumps all the navigation lights and shower pumps and so on uh, and here the fusion auto system here it's the victron uh, control system for the lithium um, which shows you the state of your battery the state of your charge how much you're using uh, in uh, cc and in dc very practical what is nice with this uh, Victron system it can be uh, remotely controlled so if you have any problem uh, while selling you can uh, contact your technical team uh, and we can connect into the system and diagnose any problem there might be on the BNG you can uh, put the camera which is in the mass and that shows you if there's something in front of your boat so very practical you can also have the forward scan so if you're planning to sail in the Tuamolus, that's really practical because you see what's what's in front of your boat of course you can have uh, the maps the charts here that's the sail sense system that will show you um, the level of your tanks the level of your battery if there's any uh, alarm lulu has a protective canvas all around the windows here we've removed them tonight for the movie but uh protects you from the sun creates some shade very nice here you've got the second fridge very full for the trans-pacific the boat is leaving tomorrow to cross the panama canal you can see the quality of uh, all the equipment in the galley. That's the starboard hull, um, which has a double cabin forward right now with the foiling uh, equipment. Here you've got storage for your food. more storage here here you've got the bathroom uh, with the toilets on the one side and the shower on the other um, you can see that you have the view here so it's very nice when you're uh, actually uh, in the bathroom And then you've got a double cabin aft 
with a large opening here, opening on the top and opening at the back. Storage everywhere. So I'm going down in the owner's cabin now. So you can see a, a very large bedroom, double bedroom with a sea view. You've got a bench here and a desk area with lots of drawers, so very practical to store all your things for navigation, for safety, batteries and so on. And then as you walk forward, there's uh, the very nice um, bathroom, owner's bathroom, uh, with two really different spaces. First, there's uh, the space with the basin, the toilets, and the washing machine. And then the shower is separate. Very nice storage on the bed. Pareil de côté. Yeah. Storage under the bench here. Ah, y a du bordel,